So I'll be showing you how to create a home button using the assistive touch on screen button on your iPhone. Now for this tutorial, I'm using the iPhone 14 Pro, but it's the same instructions for other iPhones and also iPad. So the first thing you need to do is enable the assistive touch button and then customize it to have the home screen or to work as a home screen button. So go to settings. Let me just go back to the main settings page. If you tap on settings, then scroll down to accessibility and tap on that and then tap on touch and then go to assistive touch. And first things first, enable the assistive touch uh, floating button. So this button will always be floating on your screen. You can change the idle opacity to something a bit lower like that. There you go. So it's always going to be hanging around on the screen of your iPhone. Now, under the assistive touch settings, make sure you tap on customize top level menu and you have at least a home button there. So when it's like that, you can always call on this and tap on home and that should take you back home. So let's say you're somewhere here, you can call on this and tap on home and it takes you to the main or the first home page screen or home screen page on your iPhone. Now, if you want to, you can get rid of all these other things so that you can only remain with the home button. To do that, again, go back to the customized top level menu under assistive touch and you can reduce the icons to only one and then turn this one icon to the home button. So just tap, uh, look for home, tap on that and then tap on done. And then the one icon we have is the home button. Okay. So now when you hit the back button, you can always tap on this assistive touch button to take you home. Whichever screen you're on, just tap on it and it's gonna take you home. Even if you're in an app like that, you can tap on it and it's gonna take you home. Now, if you go back to the assistive touch settings, you can uh, remain with all the other icons. Let's let's just hit reset to reset all the other functions of the assistive touch button, as you can see. But then you can have a long press function dedicated to going back home. Okay. So instead of tapping on this to see all these options, you can just long press on the assistive touch button to take you home or single tap or double tap, whatever you want. So let's go for the long press option. Just tap on long press and then select home and then hit back. And now when you tap on the assistive touch button once, it gives you this menu and you can tap on home. But if you long press, it takes you home. Okay. So these are the different ways you can uh, create a home button using the assistive touch on screen button on your iPhone. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.